final we're on the way between uh, Douglas and Columbus in the mostly green glass of the stove and Bishopstown in their traditional maroon with white shots. Bishopstown on the first attack. If it hooked for them is Fionn Buckley. Fionn under pressure. The ball near the line. The ball gone over the line. What way is it going? Referee is Sean Keating of Scullow and Balancholic. 20 minutes aside in this FDO final. <coughs> 15 players on each team and traditionally over the years the Ishkina Skull Finals have been great. Late October here today with lovely weather for this. <coughs> the sun is shining, there's a sh shadow from the big stand covering out over a lot of the field but it's a nice day for football. Now, Bishoptown, Aranunsi, a nice fisted pass trying to open up the play, bring it out along the wing here near us under pressure. This man has played a good bit of ball in the early moments. Just over a minute gone in this F a though final and now Bishop Sound Aranoon C. Here they go, toe to hand, number twelve. Connor Graham kicks it in. It's a dangerous ball going near and uh, umpire was putting up his hand for a moment. 
<coughs> but the ball didn't cross the line and Douglas under pressure over in the far corner trying to clear it away shot is clearance but an accurate one and now a strong player coming out with the ball as he robbed no he puts the toe to it on the ground but it comes straight to one of the Bishop's Town players waiting outside fists it across it's broken down and Bishop's Town still have the ball here they come again looks a tasty forward this number 12 dangerous ball off the kick there off the left leg from Connor Graham and with the opening score after just under two minutes of play Early lead for Bishopstown in this Ryan F. Ado, Pell Skina Skull. Kick out is taken, it's long, it's high, it bounces way down the far side, out into the sunshine, trying to gather it under pressure. Both teams here are marking tightly so far. The play has been very good and that's a nice ball in but well covered by the corner back inside and cleared out to midfield. <coughs> Agashok Winnerish, Balanas, Bigger and Unsi. Nice fisted pass over to the far side. Another fisted pass. These boys are well coached. Here it comes now. Will he put the toe to it? Left footed shot to the far side of the post and wide. I couldn't see the number of the player over there. Might have been uh, Sean Dollard, Neelam Kinte. But anyway, another soft tee. That was a wide. And Marcus will take the kick out for Douglas. He kicks it long, but it's covered. Right under our stand here, out around the midfield position. <coughs> and the tasty Bishops down forwards. Opening up the play. Lovely ball across, nicely gathered by Evan Noel. Evan uh, looking inside, gives it to number 11, Kean Healy. Kean drives it in, but it goes just wide of the post. So the very busy Marcus Zematitis will be taking yet another kick out. He's taken a few already, and we've only played three and a half minutes or so. Shachwin Inish. St. Columbus on their first chance of a decent attack fisted ball across nicely done kicked in low should be a back spall is a back spall and away come the bishops down defense again out to kian healy kian gathers and drives it up the middle and racing across and gathering it <coughs> beautiful toward a hand lovely fisted pass right in front of the goal <coughs> it must be and it is Jaden o'leary but finishes that cracking move to the back of the net a great goal bishops down in the early moments, looking very good. Marcus would be advised to slow it down now and give his team, he's doing just that, give his team time to settle. They haven't settled at all yet. They had one attack there just moments ago. But when the attack was broken up, Bishopstown uh, drove out hard and fast. And here they come again, racing in towards goal. Oh, lovely control of the ball there. Beautiful right-footed, lofted over the bar. Again by one of their main men, Kian Healy. So, a goal and two points. Cool agus gá chúilín. Ag balan aspig agus níl éin scór fós. Ag bóchilín a dúgluise. The kick out to the far side this time. I'll try the other side, he says. And it worked. Here they come. Douglas that is, nice block on that there, still might work out for the forwards but no, those backs are strong and they read the game well so far in there in the Bishopstown defence and they clear it out to midfield and out it comes under pressure, there's uh, Connor Graham again, how much ball has he played already but this time he's under pressure but the pressure is illegal, it's a free, uh, kicks out of a gown, the ball in Referee as I said, Sean Keating from Ballancolleg from Skullowan. Shaku in a reach. Balanaspe Garunsi. Good block inside but it breaks for a forward right in front of the goal. Referee's hand is raised. I don't think any whistle went. It's still in there and eventually the referee has called back to play. I don't know what his decision is. It looks like it's going to be a throw up ball. Or is it? No, he's given the free and I think he was playing advantage there. So now surely the lead will be increased. High but accurate from that distance. The white flag is waving again. And Bishopstown after six minutes with a substantial lead. A two-goal lead. Marcus. Kicks it out the far side again. It worked out the last time, but this time Bishopstown read it. And... What this game needs now, from a, from a neutral point of view, like myself, is a score for Bokali Nadoglisha, but Bishopstown look to have the edge in all sectors so far. Shokhoi Narishi Daranunsi. 
opened it up across the field and a forward racing cross should have time to gather this and size up his options then Mark Tighty he looks across fists a nice tight ball to Graham and uh, Connor Graham opening up the play again and with the left leg this ball is dropping inside it's danger again right in front of the goal carry what a save by Marcus inside in the goal with not the most accurate of clearances Graham collects Connor Graham and this one just slightly to the left as we look at it and wide Marcus and Matthias Tarshe Gnohook out it goes again from the kick out away down the far wing but Bishops don't seem to have read that strategy for the last couple of kickouts. Of a shock on the Rishi Daranunsi. They've wasted very little ball. They're passing. Their combination is good. Of a shock on the Rishi Daranunsi racing in towards goal. Across in front of the goal. Left footed. And the far umpire <coughs> decisively uh, indicating that that one went wide. So, cool. Of a three. Huilin. Egg. Uh, Bukali Balanaspik, Marcus Rich. I didn't get a chance early on. I'll give you the line outs. I didn't have lists at the start of the game, so I couldn't give you the line outs before the match. I'll run through them as best I can and you can keep up with the play. I'll do the uh, St. Columbus defence because they're <laughs> under pressure a lot. So we have Marcus and Goal, Ali O'Sullivan, Callum Tuig, Tiernan Freeney, Ben Sweeney, Alex McSweeney. I know she knows Driscoll are the defenders there that are under severe. What a beautiful point. What a beautiful point for Bishopstown as I was reading out that there. <laughs> Not alone are like they're playing well, they're combining well out the field, but they, they've hit a few wides, but even the wides they've hit have been just barely wide and they're a nice style of attacking and nice style of scoring and they're into a substantial lead in this first half now. <laughs> Douglas with a huge task in front of them maybe a chance now to get an attack moving but any Douglas player that <coughs> collects the ball out around the middle is being marked very closely they've had only one real attack so far and here we go again Bishop Sound reading the play and bringing it away up the wing hill all oh, lovely combination and more of the same nice left footed ball in cut out for a moment <coughs> by Ben Singer but Ben loses it and now here come <coughs> Bishop Sound again and another goal into the back of the Douglas net and the gap is widening with every passing minute 2-4 to no score uh, Balanas Big Ben Harmon Jack Lee Liam Cuthbert Alejandro Ray Zachary Murphy McKeown Patrick Barry Evan Noel Fionn Buckley Danny Fitzpatrick Sean Dollard Kean Healy the kick out <coughs> down the far side and again uh, Douglas player gaining possession using the shoulder nicely there and kicking a lovely ball in this could bounce for the forward will the goalie reach it in time oh and it eventually the goalie ends up on the ground no fault to the forward he was chasing the ball in but it goes out wide but the referee is calling that he, he reckons there was a touch on that and it will be a 45 I think for Bukalina Douglas that's exactly what's happening Sean Keating uh, showing them where it will Will they? The first, this is a good distance out for a young fella. Uh, see how we go. He's looking towards goal. He strikes it high. It looks good and it is good. The white flag is waving. 2-4 to one point. So now will that give uh, St. Columbus a bit of heart? Goalie. Ben Harmon looking. His first kick out as far as I can see. And he looks to this side and he lofts it out towards the sideline it's well gathered by one of his midfielders that's uh, Fionn Buckley Fionn puts it up along the wing Connor Graham gathers and ships a very heavy heavy collision there <coughs> I don't think it was intentional there was a back and a forward coming out to contest the ball and Connor came across in front of them and took the knock into the hip and into the knee and he's gone down but I'd say only for a moment playing great so far I was running through the teams there I'll, I'll give you more in a while as we wait for Fionn Buckley to take this one for Bishopstown Fionn with the left leg high in towards the half forward position it bobbles off knees and off ankles and off shins and away come uh, Balanaspig again nice uh, short foot pass there and it's kicked high and long and ooh 
just I think to the right and wide but again a decent effort and again the super busy Marcus Amatitis taking yet another kick out for Douglas long down the far side again a slip there should favour the Bishop's Town boy and indeed it does fisted pass back well played nicely done bouncing away from uh, <coughs> tacklers there and again that combination football that Bishopstown are doing ball ends up with Liam Cuthbert uh, sends it across to uh, Zachary Zachary pops it in towards the full forward position this time the back is out first but the clearance isn't great but it works out okay and maybe now uh, Skulder Douglas with a chance to get another attack moving down along the far wing Closely policed, closely marked over there by the defender. Hard for me to see. One of the things here, we're far away. We're in the, the high stand, if we can call it that. The bigger stand and the, what used to be the open stand over on the far side. That's where our cameras and our, uh, what you call it, our main pitch is. Uh, because of the bad weather, this side of the pitch is being minded for the moment. So it's hard for me to see numbers. So forgive me, I'll give you the teams just around half time because I didn't get the chance at the start. And again, Bishopstown are a What a standard. Ah, oh, great block by the defender there. I think the defender was Conor O'Brien who'd come back. Yes, Conor O'Brien who'd come back to help his uh, beleaguered defence. And it went out off his boot and it will be a 45 this time for uh, Bishopstown. So we're drifting in now, 13 minutes gone, 7 to go. Bishop Town, 45. The man with the left leg, high and long, but a bit too far to the far side. That's from uh, Callum Lee. No, I'm picking the wrong team there. Owen Cuthbert, a decent effort, but wide. Marcus again, bounces long. Uh, midfielder gets a hand to it, but Bishopstown just have that edge all the time. This time, the would-be pass goes out over the sideline. <coughs> Down under us, and it will be a sideline for uh, Ben Senga and the boys of Douglas. Ben looks, strikes a high, long ball in towards the half-hour line. This one will bounce, but one, two, three defenders at their leisure there coming out and collecting that and giving a lovely ball up the far wing. That's the kind of ball you love to get if you're a wing half forward and the combination play from Bishopstown again is exemplary. This time the attack half breaks down but they still have it looking towards goal. <coughs> and did that come off the post, off the goalie in the post maybe? <coughs> but beautiful work again by the forwards and a rasper. A rasper ends up on the back of the net. What a goal from the corner forward over at that side. Corner or wingman Neil him sure all her uh, but what a goal and again now uh, skull and sprit may have yet another score here they come that's uh, Douglas Aranunsi very close to the sideline the attack is broken up and that's the trouble for the Douglas men so far when they get the ball down to their forwards the Bishopstown defenders are very tight and very good at reading the play and they're just taking it past them. Goalie saves that one first, but the power in it drives it in past Marcus Amatitis and it's looking at the moment now, barring a miracle, that there's only one way that this trophy is going to go and that's out to the west of the city to Spridnaev to Bishopstown. And here they come again. Fisted pass. This one is not that accurate, but it still works out. They're onto every bounce, every break, most of the time. It's not that Douglas are playing badly. It's just that Bishopstown seem to have an excellent team. Every one of them is up to the task. And again, a chance to increase the lead. And dare I say it, were it not for the number of wides, the gap would be even more than it is. And the gap is a yawning one. 4-4 four, four to a point. A five goal lead. Kick out is long. Bounces off the fingers of a Douglas player. Douglas player trying to get an attack moving. Good blocking there by uh, Patrick Barry, the number six for Bishopstown. And now Finn Cregan. Nice shot ball to one of his half forwards. Will he get the return? 
the half forward is a half back actually good ball in in front of about the center forward position in front of the goal at the black rock end it's put out towards the corner nice ball opening up the play but still those defenders are very tight in there that's a dangerous ball goalie does brilliantly in there ben harman but the clearance is blocked down and it's still in there and again douglas need a score douglas <coughs> need a hat full of scores and they're not going to get the one this time i don't think because the attack is broken up and it's cleared out and conor graham Tasty footballer pops it up along the wing. This is beautiful to watch. And away goes over a three dig. Jaden O'Leary Burke. Jaden turns back. Right foots it in. Not his most accurate one. Might still work out. As Bishop Sound keep the pressure on. And there's Cuthbert. That's Owen Cuthbert, that is, but he loses it this time and is cleared out towards midfield. And it should be uh, Ben. Ben should gather that ball, but he's deprived of possession out there. And Chuck in the reach. Ball and Aspiger, and see that's one. Well done, the forward. He did exactly the right thing. Could have ended up in the back of the net. Inches wide. Score remains 4 4 to a point. As we are coming towards the end of the first half, I promised you the teams I'll give them now uh, because uh, the margin is so high I don't have to keep up with the play so again St. Columbus Marcus and goals full back line Ali O'Sullivan Callum Tuig Tiernan Freeney half back line Ben Murphy Alex McSweeney Oshino Driscoll midfield Ben Senge who's played a lot of ball Connor O'Brien half forward line Jaden Foley Finn Cregan Rory O'Sullivan full forward line Liam Wilson Callum Lee and Kevin Dwyer Bishopstown in goals Ben Harmon who dealt well with whatever has come into him and the full back line Jack Lee Liam Cuthbert Alejandro Rea half back line Zachary Murphy McKeown Patrick Barry Evan Knoll midfield Fionn Buckley and Danny Fitzpatrick and the nippy and accurate forwards Sean Dollard Keen Healy and Graham Connor Graham making up the half forward line and inside in the full forward line Jaden Owen Cuthbert and Dylan Murray she needs in the four and the ball bounces down on the far side and goes wide so kick a mark Igdridim Kunderig and this kick a mark is for Ben Harman <clears throat> he's looking out the field he's taking his time he right footed more or less out towards the far wing to the half back line a clear foul there on one of the Bishop Sound players takes to free himself. Nice one up to midfield. Lovely fisted pass again. This combination I've been talking about from the start of the match. Look at that. Right in front of the goal. <coughs> and great defending there. Great defending just at the vital moment. A hand was in. And the goalie's hand was in then to deflect the ball out for a 45. So, pressure still on. On the uh, foot the Douglas yeah. And the 45 about to be taken. He bounces it two or three times. And strikes it high. And strikes it left footed. And over the bar. 4-5. To one point. Marcus. Lesson geek a mock. Bowl and she a shall. A mock. A draw. And tie of Lena and saw. And again, it's Bishopstown who gather it, and this time they suck it. Oh, what a save! What a save twice, but eventually <coughs> they were lining up there to come in, and the rebound off uh, Marcus, who has made some mighty saves so far. It's not his fault that his team are behind, and I think we have exactly on the 20 minute mark, Sean Keating blows up for half time. So, Bishopstown well, well ahead. Bemi Tanash, Leshantanala. And the second half is about to commence. Bishop Sound way ahead, 5-5 five, five to a point. Uh, here they come again, Arnoon see nobody getting near the player there. And what I rarely see in underage football, a man taking the ball through and fisting it over the crossbar to increase the lead. Kuigishay, Akasun, Akaskamakantayan, Kulinivan, Egg Bokali, 
the do glass yeah on do glass and they are do vogus glass and here they come up the wing nice ball but again as was the case in the first half the defender is there this time the defender is alex o'callaghan a half time sub bishopstown way ahead i presume they'll bring on some of their uh, substitutes as well in this half and douglas now with a chance of an attack here and number seven for them if it's shocked is Oshin Odriskel Oshin Odriskel right foots it high into the danger zone it bounces and bounces is it kept in play no it isn't it's gone wide on the far side so it will be a kick out for Ben Harmon Ben takes his time he's strolling out <coughs> looking around him deciding where will this go pops it out the center it bounces should be a Douglas ball indeed it is nice kicked past there by Douglas to uh, Finn Craig and Finn drives it in ah well played goalie Ben Harmon kept his eye on it under pressure his clearance is blocked down and back in come Douglas that's a dangerous ball but again Ben is in there and Ben breaks it down to himself and clears it out but Douglas gathered the clearance again and they're coming at them a little bit now in the early moments of the second half now rasping left footed shot over the bar that's a cracking score for Douglas I think the phrase is they're playing for pride now but by lads there was pride in that one he blazed it over the bar a great score so when the ball is retrieved Ben Harmon will have the kick out this is the busiest he's, he's been today so far Ben looks out again taking his time right foot out towards our side here it drops and uh, Ben Senka gathers under pressure still Douglas come with it trying a fist pass across this attack is going to be broken up it is broken up and away come Bishop Sound again tasty football all the time from them combination football another sub number 20 uh, is David Cotter pops it across and the subs look to be as tidy as the fellas who played the first half good football from the Douglas defence on this occasion however and getting the ball out the wing here underneath us <coughs> nice fisted pass Ben Senga breaking away from the tackles he can break away from the tackle when it's a foul and he'll take the free himself right foots it long and high in towards the centre forward position it's gathered inside nice fisted pass chance of a goal bang great goal with the right foot <coughs> nice combination there I said it just before half time it's not that Douglas have a poor team they're playing well but they're not being allowed by a strong uh, very well coached uh, Bishoptown team so Shokhoen Bokalina Douglas again that goal should give them heart 5-6 to 1-2 but Bishopstown this time say enough is enough and they try and take it down the far wing and again one of their subs over there going for the ball I think that is or was uh, Kyle Kyle Murphy and uh, they still have the ball they're still in the attack over there on the far side and taking it in towards goal popping it in towards the corner forward it comes off defenders and off attackers one of the attackers got the last touch and now Marcus at least he got time to draw breath to start to this half he was worn out from kicking out the ball in the first half so Marcus Semititis with the kick out at the black rock end looks to this side puts it down the middle it bounces straight to two waiting Douglas players losing the ball in contact uh, Bishop Town have it again now and trying to get it away but being tightly marked losing it it comes out eventually Bishop Town gather it nicely this time that's uh, Patrick Barry Patrick puts it in but it's rolling rolling and has gone out to the right as we look at it in wide and so another kick out for Marcus changed his mind at the last moment now he goes tries this side that might just work out Bishop's town player has uh, slipped and Douglas's uh, Ivor Akoig Ben Murphy under pressure still under pressure he'll gather again he's been tightly marked he bounces the ball and the referee has the arm raised aloft and I think that'll be a free uh, for Douglas <coughs> for a jersey pull he allowed him the advantage it didn't work out so the busy Ben Senga will take this Ben looks up bounces the ball right foot it long good ball in but again so well read by the Bishopstown defence and they clear it out but the clearance is intercepted by Ben Ben bounces it takes it past uh, the back and tries to fist it on but 
in there for Bishopstown is if I had do I think can't see clearly I think it's Conor Enright I'll tell you in a minute Chuck Quinn for Henry that's Colin O'Driscoll and they're all playing well David Cotter now with the ball toe to hand looking who will I pass it to he passes it to Conor Enright Conor has time to gather and to look up toe to hand a little bounce fists it in they're at their leisure here time to measure the kick now will it be measured properly it's measured low and it rasps off the post and it's cleared under pressure away out to the far side and it will be a 45 I think that shot was by Colin O'Driscoll Neil him Roy Kinta but uh, fair play to Bishopstown boys they've brought on a lot of their substitutes to give them a taste of Parky Creeve action so 45 6 minutes of the second half gone the 45 is way over on the far side and Bishopstown still with that commanding lead 5-6 to 1-2 and here they come that's over the bar from the left foot that's again the standard of scoring by both teams when when Douglas got the chance to get a few scores there a while ago they got great scores and back come Bishopstown again 5-7 to 1-2 Marcus Uruwainela Marcus looks out he'll go to the far side this time it's high it's out to the wing forward position Douglas players under pressure and Ben gathers it again and up along the far wing is that accurate it is indeed and there goes Senga taking the return half blocked as he's uh, attempted pass and intercepted by the very alert Bishopstown players and they bring it away again a good Douglas move there but mighty defending by uh, Skull and Sprit Nave and here they come at an see Bishopstown attacking down to the corner forward it bounces off his knee he gathers at the next attempt plays it back out nicely done bounce back out great stuff Fahanae kicks it in and kicks it that ends up in the back of the net that was Colin O'Driscoll who's played very well since he came on but that goal was made by four or five players playing the right passes at the right time and keeping the head and keeping the ball and I think he was going for a point it ended up over the bar and Bishop's down the reach after the mini resurgence of Douglas Bishop's down now are back in command and they're coming in again with dangerous ball in front of the goal and Marcus under pressure somehow gathers that and clears it down the far side it bounces favorably for Douglas of a and Douglas at a known series a little tap pass nicely done down along the far wing here they come a great lockdown again and that's uh, uh, Oshin Odritzkel gathering it the second time putting it across to the center uh, coming out to gather it one of the Douglas forwards fails to gather it the first time and eventually a referee I don't know what's happened over there I'm looking around to see what the call is I think there's a player needing attention that's what it is so the referee is holding up the play 6-7 to 1-2 while uh, Douglas's number 10 Jaden Foley uh, is attended to and maybe might need to leave the field it looks like a hand injury I'm not sure from this distance he's walking so I'm thinking it might be fingers or something which can happen of course in football or hurling now <coughs> we have a free in for Douglas number 11 pops it in it comes off the shoulder or the chest of one of the forwards but unfortunately for them it goes wide Men Harmon right footed down this swing up they go and down they come the man coming down with the ball is David Cotter nice pass inside to Connor Enright Connor taps it inside lovely work gathered beautifully by Ivra Shakti Bill Troy Bill with the left not accurate on this occasion but beautiful build up play at the same time by the Bishopstown boys again has to be admired so Marcus again he tries this swing it's long but not long enough I would say it's going to be gathered again by uh, the Bishop Town boys oh, that's tasty football again I said that lots of times but it's a good word to describe them they're neat they're tidy they're accurate here they come again bounce fisted pass always almost the right option Fehado listen kick Fehado and the white flag will be ra raised again Connor Enright who has played well since he came on 
getting in at the end of that move. But as I said for their last score, it's the moves before the scores are just as impressive as the scores themselves. Marcus Arish, August Arishella. Kicks a mighty long ball down the far wing. Douglas under pressure. Will they gather? They might at the second attempt. Yes, and they're coming away. But Bishopstown still playing as if their lives depended on it, which is the only way to play, really. Well, that ball touched on the ground. It was indeed. And now, on Douglas, August Chancellor, Dollar and Noon see. Here they come. Nice left footed ball across. The bounce is gathered nicely there by uh, Douglas forward. Pressure is on. That kick might work out. It did. It came off the fingers of the defender. But again, the marking is tight in there. Defender does very well to make room. And that would have been one of the scores of the day if it went over. It wasn't far wide. Under severe pressure from a tight angle. Score remains as it was. 6 8 to 1 2. Marcus Arish. Kick out is taken, it's high, it's out towards the wing forward position, straight under a seer, gathered by Colin O'Driscoll. Colin is under pressure, but he won't give up. He puts the toe to it as he's being shouldered, and he puts it out over the line, straight under a seer, and it will be a sideline ball for the boys from St. Columbus. And the very, very, very busy Ben Senga will take it. He's played his hat out for his team. He dry he puts Sky and this one drives it up into the air, it breaks nicely, it's belted in, but just to the left and wide. And another kick out again, Ben Harmon. Ben is taking his time, looking where he should put this to the best advantage of his team. Landed it on the laces of one of the midfielders. Nice fisted pass and getting past the tackles there and opening up the play, Shaquinarish. Spritnever and Munsi, lovely football. Agushine, uh, David Cotter, David under pressure, gets the toe to it and keeps the ball for his team. And again, more pressure on there. And uh, the the ref blows for over carrying against uh, one of the Bishop Sound players. And Ben Senge looks up, tries a long ball, but. The Bishop Town boy is forced to it and at the second attempt under pressure he gathers it at the third attempt. That's uh, Alex McSweeney who's, or uh, sorry Patrick Barry who's played well but that attack didn't work out. But here they come again. Bishop Town, Aaron Unsee. There's a pull there. Referee gives him the advantage. The advantage doesn't work out because there's a second foul and the free now for Skull and Spritnev. Looking towards goal, left footing it, high and long and accurate, that's a dangerous ball, breaks off a forward defender under severe pressure, fists it away, back across the goal, still dangerous, Ben might gather this under pressure, he does just that, and he's fouled and he comes away with it, and clears it out nicely to the far wing, but will they gather it? At the third attempt they do indeed that, that's... Uh, Nave Columba and here, lovely ball off the left leg down the far side. Here comes St. Columbus, nice ball across if the forward can get to it first, but great, fantastic defending there by, I think, Danny Fitzpatrick, Neil Imkinton, no, I think now it's Alex O'Callaghan, gathered that ball and he was not going to lose it in spite of being hit hard and the resultant free will be a uh, free out for uh, Spritnaev and accurate as can be again out the wing to the man who'd run free and look at the accuracy of this play back in they come fisted pass back looking towards goal right foot hooking it in if that goes over oh man put up that white flag that's a top class score he swung it in like a Shawnee O'Shea what a score kick out is taken down the far side they're racing out for possession near the sideline over there, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, and the ball breaks away along the ground, uh, and eventually uh, a pull, an illegal pull on the ball there, and it will be a free for uh, Douglas Day. Hurry up with it and bring it down the far wing, looking towards goal, nice kick in, but the defender is back there, and the second defender gets the break and comes away and clears it out. But uh, under pressure there, the defender and the ref, I think, was about to blow for the free, but then saw the defender had gathered it the second time. And here comes Ben. 
gathering the bounce and looking towards goal. Right foot it high and long and over the bar. Fine footballer Ben Senga. Well done. The white flag is waving. And the kick out goes way past midfield and Spritnever and Unsi Arish. Gathering the ball, opening up the play. Com combination football which they've been doing all day long a little bounce the left leg looking towards goal and narrowly wide but again a great effort by one of the substitutes who came on there and the at half time they brought in a load of substitutes and all the substitutes are playing well kick out is taken will it work out it will ben has gathered it again he must be tired he doesn't look it he bounces does a little fisted pass <laughs> uh, doesn't quite work out but it works out in the second attempt and now an attack over on the far side but bishopstown defenders are there in number and they're bringing that ball out with determination over on the far side and clearing it away down trying to get an attack moving attack broken up nice little dinky pass across the center but again Bishopstown are there man free the man is free has got the ball they always seem to be able to do that they look up and they play the quick ball that's a lovely kick is it accurate yes it is put up that white flag I think that was David Cotter again but again the passing the passing mighty 6-10 to 1-3 as time is uh, running out now well we knew at half time who the winners were going to be really and like as I said just around half time it's not that Douglas are a poor team Douglas have a lovely football team but Bishopstown are absolutely excellent in this grade F though almost finished a great block down there and the ball breaks across to the centre field area it's gathered by uh, Jaden Foley looks across great ball up the wing and there is Rory O'Sullivan Rory takes it away toe to hand still under pressure gathers loses will he gather at the second attempt no the defender is there great defending and again accurate passing out and over on the far side there a uh, referee indicates that a player overheld the ball there and it will be a free in for Douglas and it's kicked high it's kicked long right in in front of the goal will it bounce it bounces over the bar I thought for a moment the forward was going to put the fist to it but he didn't make the connection so a score from that free for Douglas to bring their score up to 1-4 and again, Bishopstown are an see. Look at that for accurate passing and combination and running. And getting the free man almost every time. Looking towards goal. Great ball in again. This time, just narrowly wide. It was David Cotter popping that ball in there. I think he meant it as a pass to his corner forward. And it just, if he just went a little bit too high. Marcus. Looking out. I'll try this side, he says. Ben yet again is trying to go for a ball and Ben yet again is gathering a ball has played his heart out fair play to Douglas they're still coming with 18 minutes gone now in the second half game nearly over Douglas with a chance of maybe a last attack the fist fisted pass didn't come off there's a foul committed there the fisted pass didn't come off and Douglas again now with a free Ben will pop this in high I would say which is exactly what he does fine long kick breaking inside forward almost gathers might get a second bite at the cherry the cherry if you'll pardon the pun is a football and douglas have the football but the attack there no no i was just going to say the attack was broken up but there was a foul committed there and uh it will be a free in for douglas as we come to the end of this ryan effado final uh free in for douglas and O'Sheen takes it and O'Sheen puts the white flag waving O'Sheen O'Driscoll which what I'll be guessing was the last score of the game 6-10 to 1-5 Ben Harmon with the kick out out it comes long out to the middle Douglas gather it again will they add to their score and put a bit of more respectability on the scoreboard here they come Ben sells the dummy goes for the return will he get the return and there's a free a foul committed over there and another free in for Douglas now uh, about 45 meters out towards the far side 
with time almost up here. Bensenga. But it's O'Sheen who hits it, it's breaking in front of the goal. And the forward has got it, fisted past to the running forward in, that's O'Sheen. O'Sheen, however, this time is not accurate. And O'Sheen's effort goes to the right and wide. And referee Sean Keating blows the final whistle. No doubt about it, skull spread nave. Great football team, brilliant winners. But well done, Saint Columbus. He never gave up and never coming right to the end. So Shindara has scored in the Saint uh, Spritnev, 6-10. Saint Columbus, 1-5. Mashiv on the iron.